Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to, first of all, to thank the God of this commission. Brethren, I want to tell you that there is God here. On the 14th of this month, my wife delivered a bouncing baby girl. In the morning, around 9, the labor started. I took her to the hospital. And uh, they asked her to sit down there and wait. Then I left. So later in the evening, I came. And uh, the thing was more serious. Then they now took her to the labor room. So I was outside. So I, I was praying outside. I was hearing her cry inside. It was, it was very, very painful. I, I could feel the pain myself. So, after some hours, around, around six, eight, uh, 6 in the evening, so the thing became intensive. And the nurse that was inside the labor room was busy pressing the her phone while the woman was crying. So, when I asked the nurse, the nurse said that the baby has not come down. I said, okay. I started praying outside. This was happening around 7 now. Then, they were not doing anything. And I was hearing her cry. Then, as God may have it, the doctor, the doctor that owns that place, he normally comes in the evening to do operation and leave. Now I overheard the cry of that, the, the, my wife, and he came inside and asked them, why haven't you called me? All this while she was crying. And they, uh, and they, they didn't say anything. So I, I started praying again. I was praying. Then after like 30 minutes, they, uh, one nurse came out and told me that if they try one more time, if they couldn't succeed, she would be operated. I said, no, this is not what God of Censors told me. Then I called our father in the Lord in Lagos and told him, and one other pastor here, and told him. They said before 9 o'clock, 9, 9 p.m., that my wife would deliver. Exactly 8.30, my wife delivered. <laughs> But it didn't stop there. We are, we, we are waiting to hear the cry of the child. We could not hear the, child of, uh, the cry of the child. So after like 15 minutes, they brought the child out. They took him to where they have this phot phototherapy light. The child was lifeless. He was not breathing. I went outside and I called the God of this commission. Where is the Lord God of Gochukwa and Ike? So I intensified my prayers. For more than 45 minutes, the child was not breathing. So I called my daddy and the Lord in Lagos. He said, do I have hanky there? I said, yes. He said, I should bring the hanky out. I brought it out. He prayed on the hanky and asked me to go and place on the head of the child. I did that. I called the other man of God here. He told me, uh, go and place this phone on the chest of the child. I did that. And they, he prayed on the child. While the doctor was there sweating, I went outside. I increased the tempo of my prayer. So, when I returned back, lo and behold, life started coming to the they, they now fix oxygen in his nostrils and she started using he started using the oxygen till around five the breath stabilized and the child is okay the mother is okay that's why i came to say thank you jesus 
Jesus for what you have done for me. Sister, I praise the Lord. I try to get a chinake in my family and never know. So last area last year, one day, we seem not in wear pens. It's like all the pens be ya because I don't know Nigeria. We seem not to go up, not no cancer. You see the God of glory, the God of Ebenezer. I have one of you, Rupao. Nay, Pepe Bere. Everyone thirty first. My brother, Beba, and one thirty first night. Daddy, we popped here. Somebody had a problem in your family. We said, I want near why now, Nudzi. Gay one near one way five or snow five. Oh, come there. We say, Yes. Where's my name? They didn't want to eat cancer. Somebody had cancer of the cervix. And this person, by this, lost her life. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Cancer of the cervix. Yes, sir. Do you know your sister that has that person as a mother in law? Come. How many sisters do you have? Five, sir. Five sisters. One, two, three, four, five. How many of them have bulky navel? Do you know what bulky navel is? Protruded navel. One, sir. Eh? One. One. Yes, sir. I saw a child. Eh? Yes, sir. I saw another child. Yes, sir. The person I'm seeing is fair. Yes, sir. The person I'm seeing is bulky. Yes, sir. God married to a man that is tall. Yes, sir. That is black. Yes, sir. Now, this person I'm talking about had someone related to where she is married yes, that had cancer of the cervix. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Do you remember it now? Yes, sir. Who is that? Her mother-in-law. Her mother-in-law. I saw someone that has like something like a cancer of the cervix, like an in-law. So when this is two years. When it be bring basa makia, when it be bring. So after three days fast now, away bomb. We see no go rab again. That's the way it happen. Can you raise a shout?